Welcome back. So in this one, we're going to learn how to combine multiple criteria in a single query using the special keywords in the SQL language AND, OR, and IN. Now this is where we can start getting into really sophisticated filtering of data, which is increasingly necessary as you start dealing with really, really large data sets where you can't just pull everything in. So let's get started. So it's quite common to need to select data based on more than one criterion. Sometimes, for example, you only want to see a record if it meets all of a few different criteria. That is to say, you're not looking for where the value in this column equals this value. You want that and some value in some other column also has to equal something else and so on and so forth. Now in that case, you would want to use the keyword and. So let's walk through an example of what that looks like. I'll start using our trusty human resources.employee table as we have in the past. So I'll just use that select top 1000 rows magic trick to get us started. And now we'll just walk through an example query using and. So let's start by saying we want to select based on a certain job title. And I'll pick one that seems to have a lot of employees, maybe, maybe sales representative. So we'll say where, where job title equals, and then I'll copy that sales representative value right out of the editor. Saves typing and it makes sure that it's the, the actual value that I'm looking for. And let's run that. Okay, so 14 rows. But what if I'm only interested in records where the job title is sales representative and for whatever reason, maybe the marital status is single? Well, this is where the AND keyword comes in. All we have to do is type AND and then we'll apply the criteria to, the mar to marital status. So let's copy that down here after AND equals, and we said single, so we'll copy that S. Again, it's a text value, so we have to put it in single quotes. We'll run that again. Now we're down to seven rows. Only those rows where the employee in, being represented in that row is a sales rep who is single. Now, what if, in on the other hand, we wanted to pull records where the person's job title was sales representative or their marital status was single instead of and. Well, you might have guessed this is where the or keyword comes in. So if we just change that and to or, run again, now we get a lot more records. And this is because or is just broadly a more inclusive uh, type of logic. When you use and, you're saying all of these things must be true. This must be true, and this must be true, and this must be true. Or is just kind of by definition more broad, more inclusive. Or says, if either of these things are true, then return the record. So in this case, we have plenty of people who aren't sales representatives coming back as long as their marital status is single. And we have some people coming back whose marital status is not single as long as their job title is sales representative. So hopefully this has helped illustrate the difference between and and or and kind of when you would use either. So there's a very common use case involving the or keyword where you want to see if the value in a particular column isn't just one value, but is one of any number of values, any number of a list of values you may have. For example, you may want to see all records where a person's job title is either senior tool designer or a senior design engineer or research and development engineer. Now, you could very easily write that as where job title equals senior tool engineer or, and let's get rid of that little dash there, or job title equals 
Research and Development Engineer. Or job title equals Senior Design Engineer. And this should work. If we run that, we see we get all the employee records where that employee's title is one of these three titles. But there's actually a more convenient and concise way of writing this that logically is equivalent, but is easier to read, and it gets more and more scalable with the more different items you're checking for. A common scenario at a, at a bank, which is where I've done a lot of my professional work, is to need to look up all records in a table where the loan number, which is basically the unique identifier of a, of a loan that the bank made, is in a list of maybe a hundred or even maybe a thousand loans that somebody provides you. So you can imagine writing a SQL query that says where loan number equals one, two, three, or loan number equals one, two, three, four, or loan number equals five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that can quickly get really, really cumbersome. So the solution to that is, instead of writing this, you write where job title in open parentheses, and then we just put our list of things that we potentially want it to be in between the parentheses separated by commas. And then we don't have to use all of those ors, all of those equal signs. We can get rid of all that. Let's run this one more time. And it gives us the same output. So as you can see, that's just a, a more concise and convenient way of doing the same thing in that particular use case. All right, so that's it for this one. Now up next, we'll look into techniques for putting it all together by combining and and or in a single query. I'll see you then.